Hello people of the internet, I'm Yontia, I'm autistic and uh, welcome to the rare video where I do not have a migraine. Yes, anyway, um, I decided, I don't know how I decided to do this video honestly and that's not really relevant anyway. I, I have decided to do it and you have hopefully read the title. Um, and well, I guess in case, in, in the rare case that you haven't read the title, it is about things that I sometimes wish that, you know, people who are not autistic and maybe do not have a lot of experience about it. Experience was the wrong word, I think. Anyway, um, so I have sort of collected five, five of these. Yeah. So let's start with number five or number one. Which, which, whichever one you prefer. I don't, I can't decide. Um, which, well, number one. I guess one is I'm I'm not not talking because I'm shy. Oh, sorry for the double double negative. Um, I guess the short way is I'm not shy, or that being shy is not the reason I don't talk that still has a double negative. I can't avoid the double negative, I'm sorry. Um, it's just sometimes in, you know, in a social situation or whatever, I can't really talk. And a lot of people assume like that that's just because you're shy and you are somehow afraid of talking. But that's, you know, that's not the case. My words are just not working, I guess. I don't know what to say and I can't tell my body to produce words, which I'm having difficulty with right now. Maybe it was a bad time to film, film videos, but I kind of had to. Anyway, um, and just, I just, I wish people, a lot of people, you know, if, maybe because they per perceive you to be shy, they try to make you to, talk or they don't see a reason for why one shouldn't talk and therefore perceive it as not very polite when someone is not, I don't know, saying hello or thank you or whatever sort of polite things you can say. And it's just that's not really the problem and that's also not going to help anyone because that's not the reason that at least for me that's not the reason. I'm not a shy person actually but I still come across that as that a lot because I sometimes can't talk very well especially if there's a lot of people and I feel like I'm expected to say certain things but I don't know what they are and sort of I don't know I guess in the similar sort of not not talking to towards that point, uh, I'm also not arrogant or don't want to talk to you because I'm not talking to you. Um, I just sometimes can talk, and I've made a whole video about autism and arrogance and all that stuff. Which, wait, where is it? No, there. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. Um, and number two, finally, that was a very long number one. Um, I'm not just a picky eater or I, it's, it's not just that not liking a certain food or something or be just like being picky, you know, it's actually for me, usually it's about, it's, it's not even about the taste. It's, it's about the texture and which sometimes confuses people, I think, because I don't like to mix text 
textures, especially if they're very, very different. So I might, I may actually like, separately like all the ingredients of a certain dish, but I don't like them together because they're too many different textures. And the, the best example I have for me is, uh, is I can't say the word. The word will be written on the screen because my brain is refusing to pronounce it right now. Uh, that. <laughs> because it's just, I actually, I like all the separate ingredients that go into that separately, but together there's just too many textures and they're very, very different. And it's just, it makes me want to puke, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's, and it's just like, it's not a thing, you know, of just being, well, I kind of, I'm not re really a fan of eating that or something. It's the problem. That's not the problem. The problem is usually I physically cannot eat that without, I just can't. I, it would, you know, not stay where it's supposed to be. <laughs> and Number three, which applies to food, but also applies to a lot of other things, actually, it's that just don't, don't tell me to get used to it, because getting used to it is probably not going to happen. Um, and even if it is, it's not really, in most cases, really your concern. And a lot of times, when I'm, for example, if, I don't know, there's some sort of... If you're like someplace, like a, a restaurant, because I don't know, I just don't like restaurants, I'm sorry. Um, and, or I don't know, someplace, and the music is too loud, for example. It's not necessarily that, you know, that level of sound is always too loud, like it's a thing of getting used to the amplitude of noise. It's about the fact that there's a lot of different noises and that you're required to do a lot of things at the same time and so on. And so, and so it's all the things that surround the thing that may sort of that other people perceive to, you know, be something that one has to get used to. Um, it's actually a lot of the things around and maybe what happened the day before or whatever that makes something too much. And so it's just with a lot of things, it's not really, you know, it's not about that one certain aspect. And that that might always be the case in the same way, but that it's, yeah, everything. I think I've explained that. Let's move on to number four. That wasn't four. Um, which is that it can, it can take a lot of effort for me to say things, especially say things, inform people about things, yeah, just about things. Because, well, talk, again, I can't always talk very well and I can't always express like my feelings or, you know, something like that very well. And so it may actually take a lot of effort. And sometimes, especially if it's sort of a thing that might be very bit surprising or just if for some reason. And the thing about that is because it can take so much effort 
to you know actually express something genuinely and i've also made a video about why talking is sort of hard because i guess i talk about that a lot in this video as well um and if people then sort of start to question that i don't know like saying but you know you could do that thing the, the classic thing of but you could do it yesterday or you were, were were able to do that yesterday or i don't know you know just questioning what i've tried to express often i can't then actually argue back to that but that's not necessarily because i don't have any arguments i just can't express them and and number five finally uh in the similar thing this is just uh, this is just ending up to be an extension of the not of the talking video in a way anyway um is that I don't always say things I mean and I don't mean everything I say. Is that the same thing? I don't know. Um, oh, because most situations to me happen so quickly that I can't really react properly. And so my brain just kind of pick, grabs the first response it can find somewhere because it's, I don't know, seen that in a movie or whatever. And that's not necessarily always, you know, how I genuinely feel about the given situation. Yeah, that was all the things. <laughs> I hope this was... Uh, somehow interesting to people who may not be autistic or if you are autistic I don't know do I have a large, large enough YouTube account to ask other people if they would add anything I don't know if anyone has anything to add there are comments well there won't be there will be a, there is a section where you can write comments is more accurate yeah or I, I don't know if I would I would appreciate it if this video someone has found this video interesting and even though I struggle with words currently apparently and I think my brain does not want to produce any more words so there is there there is a like button and there is a subscribe button which you may use or not and goodbye